what we will study this abstract algebra is very huge but what what we will study so what we are going to study in this abstract algebra so let me tell you that in this abstract algebra there are many concepts in this abstract algebra for example remember we have already seen lattice right lattice we have already seen this boolean lattice we have already seen this boolean lattice or boolean algebra we have already seen this these are actually abstract concepts so we have seen this we have seen this these are in the gate syllabus and we have seen them and there are some more concepts that we will study there are many concepts in abstract algebra in abstract algebra we have something called ring there is something called field there is something called vector okay so these concepts are not in gate syllabus we will not study these for gate exam because these are not in the gate syllabus but these are part of abstract algebra these are abstract concepts we have already seen lattice comma boolean algebra these we have already seen what else we need to see we need to see these concepts we will study okay actually we need to study these concepts like what is magma this this concept we will study we will also study what is semi group what is uh, what is monoid and what is group so these concepts are in the gates syllabus let me tell you okay this is what we have in gates syllabus so this is what we will study and this we have already seen so anyway the abstract algebra is a very huge field okay in physics chemistry maths cryptography in every area this abstract algebra you will find but in gates syllabus we only have these concepts these structures remember these are what all of them are, all of them are structures these are structures because group theory is all about structures this abstract algebra what is this this is the study of abstract structures i told you this is the study of structures so what we will do we will study structures we will study some structures we will take and we will study them okay so let's move on now what we will study on that let me tell you some few things so basically what we are going to study we are going to study algebraic structures this is what we are going to study algebraic structure this is the first definition for today from here our study is starting let me tell you so far whatever we have seen that is just motivation that is just to tell you why we study this okay what are the applications what are the benefits all these things but now our chapter is starting okay so far if you have any doubt forget about it because that is not required for gate exam okay whatever doubt you have you can just google on uh, you can just find it find, uh, find on internet okay because that is not required for gate exam now this is the first concept that we will study that is algebraic structure what is algebraic structure this is the def what is the definition of algebraic structure in short let me call it as let me call it as so algebraic structure what is this here what we have basically here we have a base set we have a set base set on that set on that set we define some operations on that set we define some operations some operations we define okay so this is the definition of algebraic structure this whole thing is called algebraic structure okay so basically this thing means you have a base set on this base set these operations we are defining we are defining these operations and this complete thing this complete thing this is called algebraic structure so can anyone give me algebraic structure for example you can tell for example i can say that algebra some examples of algebraic structure what are those for example i can say set of integers and plus this is algebraic structure right okay so this is algebraic structure for example on set of natural numbers plus comma multiplication this is algebraic structure so these two operations i am defining what is the base set here can anyone tell me the base set is set of natural number and we have two operations similarly for example if you have uh, okay maybe on matrices maybe on set of matrices in linear algebra you will study set of matrices on set of matrices we can we can define the operation product the operation product we can define 
so these are some idea these are some examples of algebraic structure for example on set of integers i can define plus multiplication subtraction this is also algebraic structure so all these are the examples of algebraic structure here these are the operations here these are the operations and this is your base set this is the base set and these are the operations so all of them are called algebraic structure okay now in our gate syllabus what we have this is not what in gate syllabus we don't have this but in gate syllabus what we have in gate syllabus we have algebraic structures with algebraic structures with single by bin single binary operation with a single binary operation this is what we have in gate syllabus this is what you have in gate syllabus so in gate syllabus you don't have algebraic structure in gate syllabus you don't have this in gate syllabus you don't have this but in gate syllabus what you have in gate syllabus you have algebraic structure with single binary operation okay so in gate syllabus tell me this structure do we have in gate syllabus yes this structure is in the gate syllabus yes this is in the gate syllabus because here we have single binary operation this structure is in the gate syllabus because we have single binary operation so idea is very simple this is what we have in gate syllabus i can say this is in the gate syllabus we have algebraic structures with single binary operation this is the gate syllabus so for example i can say set of natural number addition set of natural number multiplication set of real numbers addition like okay so like this many examples you can create many examples you can create for example if i give you this set uh, true comma false if i give you this set true comma false then you can define conjunction this is also algebraic structure you have true comma false this is the base set and conjunction is the operation so all of them are basically the these these are the things that we have in gate syllabus algebraic structures with binary operation with single binary operation okay now we will study this this we will study in detail, in detail okay the remaining algebraic structures we don't have in the gate syllabus so you don't have to worry about the remaining so anyway let's see this one so you can notice all of them are algebraic structures all of them these are algebraic structures that are there so you can notice there are many algebraic structures right so like okay so these we will study these are in the gate syllabus these we will study for the gate syllabus because these are the algebraic structure with single binary operation with single binary operation and this is what we have in gate syllabus and here these are several operations means there are many of operations here we have single binary operation only one binary operation but here we have many binary operation these things we will not study because these are not in the gate syllabus like ring field module vector okay and all these things but you can notice these we have already seen right lattice and boolean algebra these we have already studied these are also in the gate syllabus and these we have already seen already studied so this these structures we will study in the group theory in the group theory we are going to study this and these we study in set theory in set theory we have already seen these okay let's move on now 